Hello, everybody. The thrill of adventure, whether it's going to Disneyland or traveling the world, actually just a job that you really enjoy doing. There's a great thrill and adventure in doing what you love. What is a true shame, though, is how the fear of failure at, time, at times, which is a consequence of tremendous risk, prevents some from experiencing the rush of exuberance and the thrill of adventure. It is a rarity for success to be achieved by riding the same horse year after year. Sadly, at some point, the horse ages or tires and another horse is needed. The same is true of an idea or a product. At some point, a new idea or product is needed to reinvigorate a person or an organization. There are not many events that create more anticipation, more enthusiasm, and more apprehension than trying something that has never been done or does not have a high degree of success. But if successful, will result in a tremendous windfall. Such is the nature of adventure that creates a sense of excitement incumbent on embarking on a thrilling journey to unknown ends. Once the perils of complacency have been expanded upon, a person or organization must quickly pivot to address the fear that may result once people realize sameness is no longer tolerable. They're searching for the next journey, and their apprehension should be addressed in a rapid manner, so that anxiety does not turn into stress, negativity, and resistance. The aperture to transition from complacency to adventure is narrow, but it's vital to address. If the emotion related to complacency for the present can be traded for the excitement for the adventure of the future, tension is often redirected towards working for a different future. Rather than fretting about the past, that anxiety will instead provide the fuel to reach the goals and ambitions for a different future, one that holds greater promise and the opportunity for a sense of safety and security that we seek in a changing and challenging world. This is where the thrill of adventure can overtake the perils of pessimism that seem so prevalent throughout organizations today. I wish you the best on your trek to adventure. Thanks.